We'll start off with Matt Shardell from Kane Sport. Matt? Yeah, hey, Ryan. Um, so Coach Mirabal was really singing your praises earlier, um, saying you could start for, for any team in the in the ACC. So um, you know, I was curious, from your perspective, what have you really improved, work on the most to, to earn that praise? Well, the biggest thing has just been listening to Coach and those those meetings that we have every day. Instead of just sitting there and watching the clock pass, you got to lock in and write notes. You actually listen to what he's saying because not one second goes by where he's not saying nothing. You just sit there and process that information and actually understand what he's trying to get to. And the whole concept of everything, everything starts clicking a little easier and then you can start playing freer. Next, we'll go to Adam Lichtenstein from the Sun Sentinel. Adam? Hey, Ryan. Um, it's just uh, to, Everyone's obviously you know excited to see Cam Ward play for UM um just what's it been like working with him you know how's that relationship you know how have you guys built that relationship since he got here and just you know what what what's he like what have you seen from him that maybe other people might not notice you know being his center and everything cam's a great leader not just for the cameras or nothing when people are looking at him behind closed doors when there's no cameras he's still a great leader takes care of the, take takes care of us in the o-line room takes us to eat all the time finds ways for us to get together and bond and that's huge, especially for O-line, because we're all a big brotherhood. Every position group's a big brotherhood, but O-line, it's, it's a little different. It's a little more special. And that Cam's doing a great job of bringing us all together. And when you have a quarterback that you really appreciate, you, you'll go to war for him and you'll protect him. And Cam's that guy. We all want to protect him and go to war for him. Next, we'll go to Jordan McPherson from the Miami Herald. Jordan? Yeah, hey there, Ryan. Just curious your thoughts. Now, you've been at UM for a few years now. Just your thoughts on the O-line depth that you guys have this year compared to maybe previous years. Just where where do you feel like this year's O-line group stacks up? Well, I feel like we're growing every year. We got Samson, who has now a year under his belt. He got a little banged up last year, but he's back fully, and he's working his butt off. He's, he's improved a ton. Markel Bell came from Juco. And he works hard since he's got here. We got old dogs like Lou Cristobal who pushes us every day. And he's kind of, you know, he's the he's the one pushing us when we're, you know, not on our thing or we're having a bad day. He's there. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Nino stepping up in a big way. Nino came from high school. He's an older freshman. But all these guys, they're stepping up. And I feel very comfortable with our depth. I think we're, we're very deep. Our next question comes from Alex Dono from Locked on Canes. Alex? Hey, so, uh, you know, you guys up front are not only protecting Cam Ward this year, but trying to open up holes for a, a really deep running back room. Uh, what are you seeing so far uh, from Damian Martinez on down, and how special can that group be this year? Damian Martinez is a dog, and he's legit. We got a whole but, – but it's not just Damian. Damian's legit, but our whole running back room is legit. We got – Guys in there that could play, not just one, but Mark, AJ, Jordan Lyle stepped up. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting someone. But, yeah, all those guys could play. And I have Chris Sweetley, Humphrey, Chris Johnson, all of those guys could play. And I have no doubt. But Damien's a dog. Mark's a dog. AJ's a dog. Those guys are going to lead us, and we're going to block our butt off for them. And, you know, they're going to do their thing. We'll do a couple more for Ryan. Next, we'll go to Marcus Benjamin from Canes County. Marcus? Hey, Ryan. How's it going? Good, and you? Good. I uh, just wanted to ask about just um, the centers that you've seen uh, with Matt Lee from last year and now Zach Carpenter from this year. Uh, what have you learned from those guys? And just give us a sense of, of what makes Carpenter uh, a special player at center. Well, both of those guys have a lot of experience under the belt when they came to UM. Both of them were going into their six years. They had five years of playing, whether they started as a freshman or whatever. They all played a lot of snaps and a lot of football games. So they had a lot of experience under the belt. And just like Coach Mirabal, these guys, yeah, we're, we're competing every day. But if you actually just listen and, and learn what they're saying and correct mistakes they might make and and they correct things that I might make, and we just work off each other, and we get each other better. We're just continuing to get better. Matt Lee helped me a ton last year. Matt Lee guided me. I was I felt like I, I, I had some stuff that I had to fix mentally and physically. I had to gain some weight. I had to be better with the playbook. And when we had an old guy like Matt Lee in the room last year, I was a younger guy, and I would just watch him like, damn, this is how I got to be. This is how I got to act every day. This is a professional. 
And then they bring Zach in, and Zach's another professional who knows how to handle his business. He he keeps the main thing the main thing, and he's good at that. And he, you know, we're, we're all coming together, and we're gelling well. Anything else for Ryan? Thank you, guys. Awesome. Thanks for your time today, Ryan. Appreciate oh. it. Have a good day.